Okay, physical exam. Uh, well, uh, it is important uh, and certain things are common. So I'll, I'm, I'm going to just run through those. So signalment, uh, type of the operation, commercial, hobby, migratory, non-migratory, is it uh, honey producer or, or uh, pollinator? Uh, age and source of queen, very important. Recent introduction. Clinical history, the same, okay? Uh, uh, very important. Uh, what is the problem and record keeping? Uh, unfortunately, many beekeepers are not good record keepers, and I am one of them. But veterinarians have a role there to start because it is a requirement that we know when we applied medication because we don't want to use honey during the withdrawal period. Okay, so now uh, let's just speak about in general. So uh, examination of a hive starts actually in your car when you start driving to the apiary. You need to examine the area and forage, water source. And this is example approaching our Petrovka apiary uh, that Mike uh, works in uh, on American fowl brood this is a beautiful, just starting uh, a flax seed behind this uh, canola seed. And in front here, we have some uh, uh, roadside uh, 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 flowers. It would be nicer if roadside flowers look like these. And if we have money, Sarah will be continuing work on, on some of these. When I was searching, however, and I said, I'm not going to complain about my job because I'm very close to everything. This image came across and you know what? A lavender taste of honey it reminded me of my youth and there is a better place. Uh, I guess neighbor's side is always greener. Okay, location of the yard. So protection of the wind is very important. And again, this is one of our research apiary Petrovka yard is in the open field, but it's surrounded by these uh, nice uh, uh, trees around protecting from wind and these and 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 uh, uh, during the winter, apiary cleanliness, orderness, grass. Uh, we don't want to have high grass in apiary because it will obstruct entrance. Ventilation will not be good. Electric fence in Canada in certain region is must. This is my own apiary when uh, I started to work with bees here in Saskatchewan, and one day we gave, and there was destroyed by bear. Uh, uh, and uniformity of hive is a, a very important. The same as in pigs. You don't want to have in the same uh, uh, and a round pig and big pig. Something is going wrong. So uh, in this apiary that is up north, it is well fenced. Uh, we have some very productive hives, but we have some stunt there. Okay, some small hives. What are these? Well, if we don't know what they are, in that case, they are sick. However, if if we have good records, we know that these are nucleuses or we had a queen cells that we use there. So as long as we know what's going on there, it's okay. But if we don't, these hives are first to be examined. Examination of the uh, apiary, continue, uh, we're continuing here. Okay, so uh, similar activity across the similar hives. If bees are flying in one hive, they should fly in another hive. If they are not, they should not. We need to look at aggressiveness, robbing, swarming, uh, mammalian feces, any evidence of the uh, pests. Uh, in this particular case, skunks, they will, they, they will scratch on hives, specifically during winter. Uh, this is again, since we are uh, uh, speaking about uh, invaders, this is a common problem, mouse in a hive. A uh, uh, hive is warm, plenty of food, plenty of protein larvae uh, uh, and, 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 and uh, carbohydrates. Therefore, we put these mouse reducers, they cannot get in and we have here wire mesh, they cannot get in. And also under this cover, we put uh, uh, a, a mouse poison. Uh, examination of hive, we want to check whether we have uh, any bees in front of the hive. And sometimes we need to look very closely. You can see these striped bees there that are maybe crawling, maybe dead. Uh, and if this thing is like that, in that case, you have serious problem. You may have, if it is a spring, summer, 
most likely pesticides, pesticides toxicity. If it is early spring, you most likely have dead out colony died during the winter. Examination of uh, uh, colony now, individuals. So now we arrived to hive, we looked at the, uh, 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 arrived to yard, looked at the yard. Now look at the individual colony. First of all, stay, stay from the side because beekeeper will know right away that you have no idea what's going on. Don't stand in front and obstruct flights. Uh, the, I uh, probably uh, first thing put a bit of smoke to calm down bees and examine the entrance, make sure there is no feces. This is probably early spring evidence of uh, potentially dysentery, potentially nosema in early spring. Uh, when you are opening the lid, examine the uh, cluster. And uh, usually you don't, hopefully you don't want to examine hives like that because there is a lot of honey. And these hives during the summer don't need to be examined. So you examine hive during the early spring and fall. Those are the thorough examination. During the fall, you examine the stunts or poor doing in case that you don't know what's going on. And uh, uh, so when you open the hive, you need to examine the, the, the population, strong hive, weak hive. Uh, and strong hive, uh, and I, again, one more thing I forgot to mention, somewhere the slide was lost or, or will appear. Uh, if you are and not uh, 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 good with examining of hives or don't have a lot of experience, ask beekeepers to remove the frames because you could damage queen uh, if you are not careful. So uh, there is each, each uh, colony has a similar structure. The outside frames are, you are going to be honey frames and adjacent will be honey and pollen and honey and pollen on the other side. Sometimes it's strong colony, this uh, uh, brood will expand even here but middle frames will be, will be brood. So, so this is the edge frame, honey, and compare these, these bags, it's still okay, it's still relatively new, but if you compare it to the uh, uh, honey frame, it's much cleaner. So brood, brood bags is darker. Uh, uh, next frame is uh, we look for the pollen and honey and this uh, nice presence of pollen in this hive. The next third, Third will be most likely mixed brood and pollen. So here we have nice rainbow, rainbow of pollen and some honey here and brood. And as we go middle, uh, more, more and more brood will be there if this is strong colony and some brood will be up, some brood will be open. And now, when you look at the development of the, of the bees, we have around two fifths of the development is open and three fifths is closed. If we have hive in equilibrium, that we have as many eggs laid as, uh, as dead uh, voragers, we will have equilibrium between 2.5, uh, two, uh, two fifths versus three fifths. However, these can shift. So equilibrium during the early spring will be, will have much, many more open brood because queen is laying eggs and uh, a smaller amount of, of cap brood because uh, uh, we, 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 we are at the early stage of the curve. And I like to compare it to myeloid in the bone marrow, left shift versus right shift. Left shift is when you have a lot of young bees, right shift is you have a lot of cap bee, uh, a young brood, cap brood. And if you don't have any cap brood, uh, uh, open brood, you have issues there. You may have uh, emergent uh, 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 dead queen uh, swarming in the process or something. Nutrition examine. So we mentioned pollen, but polyfloral pollen is much better than monoflora. So you can see that this is much higher diversity than let's say these. This one is intermediate diversity. Why is polyfloral uh, better? Because we uh, have amino acids and various phytochemicals there in various these. Indirect evidence of food will be the larval food, the royal jelly, the colony that is strong, that has a lot of resources. It will be flooding these hives with a lot of royal jelly. The colony as in this insert that doesn't have a lot uh, will be, uh, will have a small amount of royal jelly. 
since we are speaking about a food, here is a starvation. We don't see that during this uh, summer. This is usually when we see uh, it's end of the winter, spring inspection. If colony didn't have enough resources, these bees are leaking bottom of the cells, want to get the last microgram of honey and wasn't enough and they died. Uh, another inspection that we want to make sure that we look at is uh, bottom boards. Bottom boards may be reflection of hygienic behavior. This on the right is nice hygienic hive and this on the left may not be as hygienic and we have here some chalkboard and uh, Colby will be speaking about that disease later on. Another health, uh, uh, brood comb health. Uh, beekeepers are not changing uh, brood frames as often as they should. It, uh, uh, it, sh it, it could have been okay 50 years ago when we didn't have herbicides, we didn't have all these diseases, but right now we need to change because uh, 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 wax accumulates pesticides and, and, and uh, uh, pathogens. So 20 to 25% of brood frames should be changed. So if we have two chambers there, 20 frames, five frames should be changed, four to five frames. So in five years, entire is changed. Now, uh, worker adult uh, examination, uh, we'll, we'll be uh, uh, referring that during the various diseases, caving, tether wings, deformed wings, trembling workers. I'm not going to go into details. I'm trying to save time. Queen health, uh, we don't need to find queen in order to evaluate queen health. We look at the eggs, look at the synchronous age and amount of the brood, and we look at the supersedure cell. I see that uh, I have a uh, 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 looking, uh, sorry, uh, slides are not changing. Uh, uh, how about now? Slides are still not changing. I, ha I have a message here. It's, how about now? Uh, uh, what do you, uh, can you give me feedback, Rafaela? What slides do you see right now? I see inspect the bottom boards. Perfect. That's a best place to stop. Uh, uh, we have alarm going on. I don't want to uh, cut off mic. That's the uh, uh, bacterial disease will be one of the most important presentations for veterinary professions. I will uh, reorganize my presentation for the conclusion. So you will not lose anything. I will include these slides in conclusion. Okay, so now we will just exit here. Hopefully it will allow us to exit. Uh, while Mike is preparing, are there any urgent questions? How about I take three questions if there are any? Yes, we have questions. Would you like me to read them for you? No, I can see them now. Okay. Uh, uh, can you start? Uh, yeah, how about you start reading? How about you read them and you, Mike, uh, are opening your... Sure. Okay, so when are you changing frames to mean rotate? Okay, when do we need to change frames? The ideal time is during the spring inspection because the test frames are empty and uh, if... Uh, Dr. Simple, we cannot hear you very well. You need to be closer to the microphone. The best time to change frames are during the spring. I still not good. The so, best time to yes. change frames was during the spring inspection. How about now? It's good. Okay. Uh, is there current research involved in a drone link queens and uh, disruption in their ability to measure cells? Uh, not that I'm aware of, but there are some very nice uh, uh, German papers how they found it. In a single cell worker, put only a one type of pollen or a mix of different pollen. Well, uh, it looks like we have a mix of different pollens, but I don't think there are really is about it. 